support not only your community, but also how he tirelessly supports our family as well. Over the years, Uncle Jimmy has become the patriarch of our family. He is a kind, quiet, sincere, and very genuine man, as you all know. Not a man of too many words, he often conveys his thoughtfulness through a bouquet of flowers to one of us for a promotion, or he would send a never-ending gift card to Wawa for never-ending cups of coffee. He'll send a care package to someone in college that weighs over 42 pounds. He would send a loving letter to many of us, written in support of their confirmation into the church. Or he always comes up with a crafty way to always find the waiter and pay the bill before anybody else can get there. <laughs> And one of my favorites is that he had a standing order with a local florist to make sure that his sister, who was my grandmother, always had a beauty surrounded her every week in her last months. He is a very giving and he's a very generous man. Uncle Jimmy never wants her himself. At Christmas, he is forever saying, nothing for me. A more appropriate gift for him would be to donate to one of his favorite charities. And speaking of Christmas, he can always be found December 25th in Del Mar, Delaware, sitting in a recliner with a glass of red wine in his slippers, enjoying everyone in the family. And Uncle Jimmy always enjoys spending time with the family. I got a couple stories for you that I was allowed to tell. So there are others. If anyone wants to ask me later, there are more. <laughs> Back in the 1950s, when he took my mom, Diane, and my Aunt Kathy to what was known then as the Flatbush Avenue Boys Club, the girls were very young, and they were ecstatic to go with Uncle Jimmy to the boys' club. They were even super more excited to find out that there was a pool. However, they were soon very upset with Uncle Jimmy because he would not let them swim, and they couldn't understand why. Well, back then, the boys swam in the nude. <laughs> he always enjoys spending time with family. He once traveled in the late 1970s to New Orleans, Louisiana with Aunt Barbara. She's over there. Hi, Aunt Barbara. <laughs> she took straight-laced Uncle Jimmy in his New York style and his formal tie for dinner to the Medieval Times restaurant. Well, the host, upon seeing Uncle Jimmy in his tie, took out a pair of scissors and cut it off of it. <laughs> yeah. So needless to say, Uncle Jimmy was a bit shocked. <laughs> Uncle Jimmy always enjoys spending time with our family. In fact, he's even been known to sing at several family weddings. I don't know if anybody yeah. knows this or not. Yep. He sang at my parents' wedding in 1970. He sang the Ave Maria. He sang at Aunt Kathy and Uncle Ken's wedding as well. And he's probably sung for maybe some of you out here in the audience today um, as well at your weddings. Maybe Adam Sandler used Uncle Jimmy as his role model for the role of the wedding singer. Is that you? <laughs> Uncle Jimmy always enjoys spending time with family. About six or seven years ago, he was. some of us were traveling to Maine and stopped at Uncle Jimmy's to spend one night and do some catching up. Always the gracious host, he offered them some Bailey's Irish cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the first bottle, he ceremoniously opened it and he tried to pour it out of the bottle and it came out in blue. <laughs> so he opened a second bottle of Bailey's Irish cream for the family that was there to visit with him and it came out in globs and gloops. So I think that they probably switched to red wine. <laughs> Over the decades, Uncle Jimmy has been willing to travel up and down the East Coast to spend time with all of us. We are very lucky to have him as our uncle, our great uncle, our great great uncle, our brother, our godfather, and our brother-in-law. This is a wonderful and well-deserved award that you have been given this evening. Congratulations, Uncle Jimmy. We all love you.